Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Buckeyes have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. to as Heavenston. This heavenly game of college football. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Northwestern has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He's out to the 30. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Bozeman's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at it. Frederick gains about four yards on the play. He's tackled at the 43. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Grabs a pitch looking for the corner. And they push him out at the 44 yard line. Now, I love this offensive coordinator. I've always really appreciated his approach to the game. He's a little bit unorthodox in his approach, and this time he gives the wide receiver a chance to carry the football to pick up a first down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Incomplete, intended for his wideout. Third and six. Ball on the 40-yard line. And down he goes. The 39-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Yates is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Six yard line. And he's 
taken down around the 32 yard line that was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play it's second down now 14 to go ball on the 32. In the open. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 44. Change your quarterback, Kirby. You've got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. And they'll get him in the backfield. Thompson is the putter. And down he goes at the 34. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. yard gain and that'll be a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch you can't ask for much more than that it was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first tackled after a decent run up the gut that'll make it second and four Brought down right around the 32 yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Makes it to the 21. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. From the 21 yard line. First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. go the distance there he goes he's taken down yard line that makes it first and goal touchdown buckeyes the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Off we go to Mobile. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. South Alabama gets the win, 34-31. All right, Reese, back to our game. Jacobson Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 32. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. 
And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Zips it to the back. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on him, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. And that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Alford is back to receive. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ohio State is up seven. He's tackled at the 46. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Ohio State's lead is a touchdown. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 33. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled at the 23. That's a game of 10 on the play. Hey, watch the slant. First down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Quick out to And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. today you no know, this quarterback continues to score touchdowns and you can see how happy this makes his offensive lineman a running quarterback and a quarterback scoring touchdowns with his legs takes a lot of pressure off the big boys up front he makes the PAT so a seven play 60 yard drive and a touchdown as a result Brad I thought that was a textbook drive I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run and the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll give it off here. He might have a chance. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. On the run, right 
outside. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. He scrambled. Tackle at the 48 yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's in trouble. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. And he carries the ball for a nice game. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Northwestern is going to use their first time out of the half here. Jacobs is the deep man awaiting the return. Tackle made at the 25. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 39. to buy some time he takes off that's a great tackle at the 16 yard line they'll get the first down he made the correct decision to tuck it and go he's gonna have to use their second time out of the hat from the 16 yard line it's first down nice run there Keep it on the ground with a tailback. Touchdown, Northwestern! This guy seems to make things happen no matter what. 
face he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Northwestern lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. The Buckeyes right now are getting the play out of their court. They expected maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this. And let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. From their own 38-yard line, first down, Ohio State is up by a touchdown. Strike to his receiver, no good. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. To the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the two. That brings up second and goal. A receiver and he dropped it. Super play to time the hit just right on what looked like a sure touchdown. He really laid some lumber there. It's third and goal from the two, and they're trying to make this a two possession ball game. Pitches it, he's got the corner, and he is drilled at the two yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Ohio State's out of timeout. Ohio State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's get you up to date on some games that could really wreak havoc on the BCS standings. And for Arkansas, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. Pearson's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. The Razorbacks on top, 14-0. And for Ohio State, well, that score could have a major impact on their BCS ranking should they win. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Gathered in at the 6, and down he goes at the 28-yard line. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a problem on our hands after all. Ohio State's got a 10-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of time, yep. throw it away when they need to, but a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up. Try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback has to step into somebody, or how about you make them move and get outside of the pocket, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy, you know, in the NFL making all the money. A lot of times you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He'll return it from the six. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's a handoff, left side. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a deep seven. That makes it second and two. Nice run there as they work the outside. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 48 yard line. They'll knock him down for a loss. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. on the screen. Brought down at the 40. On the ground, up the middle. They go to the left for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they'll bring him down behind the line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. So they're going to go for it here. Downtown. He's taken down at the eight. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game four yards. That brings him second and goal. Right around the four yard line. Gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. The draw within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. And they finally tackle him at the 27. The 
quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Ohio State has a three-point lead. There's a very open field tackle. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Converts the extra point. Moore has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 23. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Feeds it to the back, and he makes it to about the 24-yard line. forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line but you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays and he's tackled around the 41 yard line that brings up second and nine Gets it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. That makes it 76. Makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike, four. Four. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. the end of three quarters to play and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought ohio state's got a 10-point lead welcome back to the action here zoom play here in quarter number four Quick pass, and they make 
make the stop around the 22-yard line. Taken down around the nine yard line. He gets hit out of bounds right around the eight yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. the extra point to draw within three points and he adds the extra point let's throw it out to Reese now studio update time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country this is a game we've been watching closely all day long Arkansas leads it 24-3 Reese were separated by a field goal here 24-21 Northwestern kick this one off from the center. They'll bring him down at the 33. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Ohio State holds a field goal lead. He's got an opening. Good outside run there. That'll make it second and four. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle right around the 50. Call it a game of 11 yards. Hold this. First down. run up the gut. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Gets him open field. They'll bring him down at the 27. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 50, Mike 50. They'll get him for a loss. Defensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 19. He tackles him for a loss. The Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. Right, right, 
It's third down, 14 to go. Ball on the 21. Just over two minutes in the game. And he's immediately tackled. That catch marks his 60th of the year. He adds to his season catch total. Now it's 60. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The football's fly all over the lot in the Big 12. The Bears go aerial and hit the board with down of the game. Baylor leads it 7 0. 27 21, our score. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 45. Wildcats have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. With the pass incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 45. Steps out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Wants to go long and done. And he got it to the sophomore. Just under two to go in the game. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Brought down at about the three-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it 33. Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game.
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. He makes the PAT. A nice six-play, 55-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Christmas check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll...